Greetings, my rare hunters! It is I, Marek! And welcome back to another episode of Dragon Ball Z Legendary Super Warriors. Last episode, we took down two of the Ginyu Force members, and we gave Krillin some time to shine. We're gonna give him a little bit more moment in the spotlight in today's episode, paired up along with Goku, as we go ahead and take on Burner and Jace. This is one of the few times that you actually It's one of the few times that you play like, you know, two on two. It's usually one on one. Uh, but you play two on two here and a couple other times throughout the game, but really <laughs> It's so frustrating to do. Because you share cards, you share a deck. Um, you share all of that shit, and it's really just not, it's not fun. I mean, it's kind of cool, you know, later on there's, there's a, a double, like a couple team battles that are pretty cool, but not this one. I don't, uh, I don't enjoy this one one bit. We're gonna go ahead and KO Ken. I didn't know he would lead, they would lead with Jace. Usually every time I played, they led with Burger. Which is why I gave Goku the Taioken. Because Jace has, he uses key attacks. Whereas Burger has a physical attack he uses. Let's go ahead and we're gonna lower Jace's key even further than it was. Should bring it down to like three or four, so he won't be hitting us for too much damage. But if all goes according to plan, he won't be hitting us at all. See, like, look at look at these stats. 22 and 30. That's that's pretty good for, you know, considering he hasn't leveled up at all. Uh, you know, we are also powered up, too, but still. So the goal is to hit Jace with one spirit bomb. To hit Jace with one spirit bomb and kill him with that one shot. And then that way we have Goku and Kirillian to go ahead and take down Birder. Oh, shit, he's already gathering power. Now, we haven't gotten any of our full spirit keys. Bulma stare down. We're gonna save that to use that against Birder. Because it'll have more of an effect against him than it will against Jace. And before anybody, you know, thinks it, you can't stack KO King. Like, you can only raise a stat four times. Uh, KO King doubles it, so he doesn't raise it. So you can use, like, four, four stat increases and KO King. But once you use KO King once, like, you can't KO King again. It's not like the anime. There's no KO King times whatever. That would be insane. K.O. Ken already makes Goku one of the most broken characters in this game. Probably makes him, like, one of, if not the best, uh, tier 2 character. Tier 2. Tier 1 character. Tier 1, you know, being the lowest. Alright, he used a full spirit, now his key is back to its normal power level. And we're in the air. That sucks ass. Uh, let's go ahead. We'll use the endurance. Ooh, 
Luckily, all he used was the Crasher Ball. Because Jace and Birder, just like in the show, they have a combination attack that is pretty deadly. Oh shit, I wasn't paying attention. I see, so what happened there is if you if you mess up the stage attack, uh if you mess it up, you get knocked out, you don't get any of the points. We got three of the points though. Because uh when that little arrow comes up where I missed one, or where you mess up, if you hit the A button in time, like you have to time it perfectly, then you'll block their counterattack, and you'll still get the points that you got correct previously. Alright, so we have exactly 25. Our key is at 38. So we're gonna go ahead and hit him with the Spirit Bomb, even though we're on the ground. No, don't do that. Don't do that. That's a bad idea. Why don't we wait until we get him in the air, and we'll move forward, and then we'll just completely murder him. Okay, we have to quit knocking him on the ground, then. Alright, so he's gonna gather power. We'll gather power. He'll hit us with a stage attack. And then we'll completely blow him out of the water. We got another endurance. Alright, uh, let's get rid of... Get rid of the energy wave. It only has 90 accuracy, so... It's not necessary. Alright, so he moved us in the air, but he didn't move us backwards. So we've still got the extra 8 points for being in the front. Oh, man! Alright, so what we're gonna do... Get rid of the Kaio. We don't need it. Because we're about to blow Jace away with one hit. Why? Why do we keep down? Uh. P Comet Z, that's what I was talking about. Oh, jeez. Good thing we used endurance, otherwise, that shit would completely wipe us out. I feel like we're in a really bad spot now, though. Alright, so that did do a great deal of damage. Oh, and we got the avoiding on the last turn, too. That was just garbage. Alright, so he's gonna gather power. We're gonna move back, just to have a little bit more defense. What was that? Another full spirit. Alright, we will save that for Krillin. We're gonna hit Jace with this energy bomb, and this should be enough to finish him off. Yep, he moved right into it. There was no way he was gonna live. Alright, so now Birder's out here. And of course, Birder has to regather power if he plans to do anything. I 
Alright, so go ahead, use the stair down. Now the description says intimidates enemies with good looks. Does she, like, stare at him? Does she wink? Does she flash him? What actually happens? We're gonna go ahead and gather power. Yeah, Birder has a, he has a speed increase card that can be put in his limited section, so he's gonna do that quite frequently. So we're gonna get rid of... We have two avoidings. Oh my shit. They're useless against him. Oh, and then we're gonna knock him in the air. When we don't have enough for the spirit bomb. But that's alright. If things go the way I'm predicting they will, then that should give us a great deal of an advantage. Yeah. Use Solar Flare. Okay, he did not use his signature move, but he did still use a physical one. So we're gonna blind the shit out of that bitch. We're gonna try and take advantage of Goku's increased, uh, increased stats, uh, to try and get a little extra damage with this energy bomb. See, that did a great deal. And we, don't forget, we still have Krillin in the back, too. If we have enough, I might use Dende to recover some health. And then use another, uh, another Solar Flame. Dengue costs 12. Alright, we're not gonna use it on this turn, because I want to see what he's gonna do. So he's gonna do a five stage. So on the next turn, he should end up doing another physical move. Probably his his specialty, the mock attack. Which means we can use Solar Flare to stop that in its tracks. <laughs> wow, look at all this Wow, Chaozu speed down. Yup, that's what we're getting rid of. I mean, it actually has somewhat more use right now than avoiding does, but still. See? Right there. Another speed up. He's just crazy about it. And the longer that Goku survives, the, the better chance that Krillin can easily take him out on his own. There it is. Solar Flare, that shit. Go ahead and get rid of the avoiding. We're gonna keep that shockwave in our hand uh, for when we play against Car play as Carillion. Okay, see, that's shit. He had a Foresight card. That's trash, because... <sighs> means we didn't get any of the points we should have gotten. We're 
we're gonna go ahead and recover with Dende. Get some of our health back. Now, see, that gave us a decent bit back. It'll give you a lot more health if you use it in your offensive phase. But, uh, I feel like it's a waste that way. See, we don't even have any cards left to draw. So what we have in our hand is all we have left. But as long as we have Goku, and as long as we have points, uh, we should have no problem taking them down. I also hate these double battles because they, they take so much longer to finish. So we're gonna gather power again. Basically, the goal here is to keep beating his ass with stage attacks, uh, giving us more points so that we can keep using Solar Flare on his mock attack. I mean, eventually he's gonna wear us down with his own stage attack. But by then, he'll be so low, Krillin will have no problem taking him out. I mean, honestly, we could try and finish him off with the Spirit Bomb. We've, we've been playing well enough that it is possible it could happen. So, you know what? We might try for that. We're gonna go ahead, hit him with a stage attack. Oh, if we had one more point and he would have ran right into a Spirit Bomb, that would have been fantastic. Alright, so we're gonna guard. Of course, he used his spirit at uh, the stage attack shit. Now, if we play our cards right. We should still be able to survive and then hit him with a spirit bomb. Get it? Play your cards? Cause this game uses cards? No? That Saiyan armor jacket will do nothing for him. If he gets hit with a spirit bomb, he's going to die. It doesn't even matter. Let's go ahead and do it. You don't get to see this that often. How did he guard again? It's cause he wrote his speed was so high. I bet that's it. I bet that's why. Oh, phew. He's gathering power. The spirit bomb has... It has 90 accuracy, that's why. Shit! 
might have been better if we had Super Kamehameha then. I just, I just wanted to show you guys what this Spirit Bomb looked like. Because, I mean, this game really does some ha have some cool-ass animations. He used a Shockwave. That's gonna hurt him, because that means he was he had no guard up. Because he over-predicted. Alright, so stage attack. And then we should be able to stage attack. And then we can use the Shockwave in our hands. And if... That's if he even lives our next stage attack. And then we can hit him with a stage attack. And finish him off. And even if things don't go that way, Kr we still have Krillin at full health. Yup, oh, well, our alrighty. Sorry, Krillin. We don't need you. So now this is pretty accurate to the show, where Goku beats both of them single-handedly. Alright, you don't need another KO Ken. Guru is a nice card. You use six. Six points, and it increases your strength and your key at the same time. So it's a nice card, but I think Taioken would be better. Uh, that way we can have a little bit more defense against the characters we need defense against. Oh. Now you know. Give it up. Take your friends and go. I can't believe it. Well, again, you force. How can we lose to a weaker man? Nice. This can't be. He escaped. Boy, he even left his friends. Is he really Goku? Huh? What'd you say? Vegeta, no! That's heartless. They couldn't even move a finger. Ah, Kakarot, you're so naive. I guess you didn't actually become a Super Saiyan. Huh? A Super Saiyan? You're so proud of your new strength, but unless you're immortal, you'll never beat Frieza. I think you're overreacting. Did you see how strong Goku was? Ha! Fighting me. I bet Frieza is immortal by now. No, I don't think so. What? How can you tell? <laughs> That's easy. If the Dragon Balls here are like ours, the sky will darken when the dragon appears. The sky is still nice and bright. Ah! They don't know the password! We can still make our wish. Alright! <laughs> it looks like Jace came back, along with Captain Ginyu. What should we do? Where's Frieza? He's at the spot where Ginyu's ship landed. I do sense a strong key there. Must be Frieza. Huh? Wait. It's over by Guru! Story 8, The Big Duel. Captain Ginyu emerges. So Frieza's wish didn't come true. That's why he went to ask the Namek directly. He doesn't know. The ball would disappear if Guru loses. See, that's supposed to say dies. If Guru gives Frieza the answer, what will happen? They're here! Jice! You made a mistake a while back! Ginyu will punish you himself! I'll handle this. Go and find the Dragon Balls. Good luck, Goku. Gohan and Krillin went back. They got the Dragon Radar and began to search. Must be their ship. Let's go in. Seems empty. 
That sounds like a bad idea to me. Go on, do you understand how the parameter works? Strength increases as life increases. Hit card damage increases as power increases. Beam card increases as damage increases. Accuracy and avoiding and speed. Speed also affects who attacks first. All right, find the Dragon Balls. Yeah, thanks. I don't remember where all the secrets are, I just... It's like playing Pokemon, you just kinda go and... <laughs> hit A on everything. See, you got one faint. Not that we really needed that. It's kind of a useless card. Alright, well, nothing's happening here. Here's the ball! We finally did it! All seven are here. Go on. Let's summon the dragon. Yeah! Ha! I managed to stall Kakarot. Go ahead and summon the dragon. Then I'll strike. And my wishes will be heard. Vegeta's voice, I just can't do it. It just kind of goes all over the place. Sounds good. Oh, great dragon, grant my wishes. Wh why? Somebody's coming. Evil Key, two of them. Can you and his followers? No. What happened to Goku? Let's hide. Hmm. Trice, the dragon balls were dug up. It's Goku! You beat Ginyu, and made friends with him too! How did you find the Dragon Balls? Remember the Dragon Radar? You look kinda strange. Krillin! This isn't my father! What? How did... I don't know, but call it instinct. Well done, kid. Goku? What's wrong? Were you hypnotized? Hypnotized? I don't think that is the actual anime dialogue. Krillin, go on! I'm Goku! Ginyu took my body! What? Oh no, that's my dad? That means... You made it, huh? That's right, I'm Ginyu. Gah, I can't believe it! He's not used to my body. So don't hold back! Alright, so now we're gonna have another double battle. This time we can't have Goku, which is trash. Um... Cause, you know, we're kind of about to trash his body. So we're gonna go ahead and take that off. And then we'll go ahead and... We'll fix Goku and... Or Gohan and Krillin up. And that will be our team. To fight against, um... To fight against... Jace and Captain Gimme. So, if you guys enjoyed this episode, or you enjoyed watching Goku completely annihilate Jace and Burner on his own, I, I'm sorry, I wanted Drillin to, to shine, but it'll have to wait till the next episode. Make sure you hit that like button down below for us, you know, we appreciate the support, especially for a series like this, because I love this game, I know nobody else does, but that's fine. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and get the freak out of here, though. Always remember to save your game, because if you were to lose that data, it would be a shame. And we'll see you guys in the next episode.